Hey, if you want this emblem, make sure you like this video and comment down below. Let's get that like goal. What's going on, YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys Trials of Osiris strategy on Bannerfall. This is our No Mercy Flawless game, last final game on the card. I'm going to show you guys what was going through our mind. I'm going to tell you guys the best weapons, the best classes to use. It's going to help you, your friends, and anybody that you play Trials with or want to help out. It's going to help you guys get to the lighthouse. And this is a great map, guys. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. A lot of open space and also a lot of great lanes. So as you guys see, the first round of Trials, everybody has normal ammunition, special ammos there as well. So what you want is at least one great sniper on your team. You do not want to have more than one, but just keep in mind going into the game, Roaming supers actually do really well on this map because there's so much open space. So you guys are seeing I'm a Stormlock. It's a great, great class to use, great super to use. And also, you get your super really, really fast when you have Electrostatic Mind. So you guys want to keep in mind that once the match does start, you guys want to kind of stay together but also disperse into multiple lanes. Just because there's so many lanes and so much open space on this map, you want to make sure that you guys want to get that mid-map control because the flag does ultimately spawn there. Now keep in mind, with Trials only being 1 minute and 30 seconds now, it's something that you guys really should take into consideration. Now granted, if you can get a kill on the other team, maybe two kills on the other team, then don't waste time. I mean, if you really want to just sit back and get your supers with your team, you can do that. But if you want to get the rounds over, and especially if you know you're better than the other team in terms of gun skill, then go and push forward with your team like we're doing. You'll see on our screen, we do it a lot, and close the round out. And the reason why I say that is because Destiny is geared in a way where if a team can outplay you just with their supers, they can ultimately win the game. And let's be honest, killing somebody with your super doesn't take a lot of skill. That's something you want to keep into consideration, that if you know your skill is better than the other teams, go out and close matches. You'll see we play really aggressive because majority of the teams we are, in terms of gun skill, better than them, and in terms of teamwork as well. But obviously when we're carrying, we want to be a little bit more cautious. We want to kind of play back, especially if the other team has a better angle or if they're in a way you know winning the gunfight just back out of that gunfight let your teammates step in and finish the opponent off or maybe just kind of get some of the attention off of you kind of like you'll also see in our match as well now i didn't want to say you guys we're so close to 50,000 subscribers i'm really curious to see how many of you that are watching this video would like to join in that first 50,000 batch we have a couple great surprises coming up for you guys once we hit 50,000 so make sure you subscribe to this channel as well get in before that 50,000 mark and make sure you follow us on twitter at real tko gaming as you guys know we're carrying on stream right now in this video and we carry everyday trials is live and we'd love for you guys to join us on stream live where we help you guys you guys earn your runs with us we help you guys and it's freaking awesome it's a lot of fun learning experience i mean we may be really great players but we make mistakes as well everyone does and we learn from it now as you guys just saw on your screen heavy round is probably one of the most important rounds especially if you're losing against a team now granted we're not losing against this team and you know surprisingly not having our mercy our last two games we did pretty well against those teams and both those teams played really well but it's something that you want to win especially if you're losing against a team now what you'll see is a lot of people actually utilize their super with heavy round and we try to do that as well because that round is really important especially like i said if you're losing now, as you guys saw with my Stormlock Super, it's so effective in open space. It's very hard for a team to kill you with that Ionic Blink. I definitely recommend Ionic Blink. You know, the Solar Titan is also a great super to use. And I'm just letting you guys know, Golden Gun has been such a great super ever since the recent update. You also get your super really fast with Golden Gun and you get it really fast with the Stormlock. So those are two things to consider as well when it comes to choosing your class in terms of a super. Now, I will say Bubble Titan, it's really good. We've seen it effective. But once again, supers that can actually kill the opponent, it actually makes games go a little bit faster in our opinion. So we would go for those supers and we would mostly pick those roaming supers just because, once again, there's so much open space. And when you have a shutdown super, you kind of have to get close to your opponent. And since this map is so big, you can already have that 
pre-plan that distance with your opponent and kind of kill them once they're dead then their super really doesn't matter when it comes to the weapons i did say to use one sniper rifle that's really skilled whether it be an icebreaker or a regular weapon as you guys saw i was using a regular sniper and just picking up ammo whenever i could and i would recommend using a hand cannon just for close and mid-range gun battles now i would say the other two people on your team should be running sidearms now with sidearms being more so of the close range manner i would recommend a wormwood a trespasser both of those are great or something in the same tier as those sidearms and your primary i would recommend either a scout rifle for range or a pulse rifle definitely pulse and the two i like a lot are blind perdition and the hawk saw i really hope these tips and tricks helped you guys out make sure once again you subscribe and you look in the description below for everything you need to know in terms of connecting with us and getting your own trials run see you in the next video guys peace